Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province recently announced an emergency livelihood support plan to help low-income families experiencing difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic and began receiving applications. The eligibility of households for this support is determined based on income loss due to employment or business interruption, as well as the value of assets owned. Support will be paid in cash in amounts of 1 million Korean won based on a four-person household. Applications must be submitted by October 30th via the related provincial website or by October 19th at local administration and welfare centers. For the first time in Korea, Gyeonggi Province will sell items seized from tax delinquents through an online public auction. The 500 items to be auctioned include luxury brand bags, watches and jewelry, as well as golf clubs and alcohol. Detailed information about the items available through the auction, which will run from October 19th to 21st, can be obtained from the related auction website. The list of successful bidders will be announced on October 23rd. On October 15th, Gyeonggi Province began receiving applications for the third Gyeonggi Low Credit Loan Program. This program is geared to provide emergency livelihood support to those who have very low credit ratings and are experiencing difficulties due to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the application period, new loan services customized for those who are high interest borrowers as well as for those applying through Youth Financial Counseling Services, will be introduced. Anyone over 19 years of age with a credit rating lower than 7 can qualify for 5-year loans through this program, which are available in amounts of up to 3 million Korean won at 1% annual interest. Detailed information can be obtained from the related welfare website or by calling 1-800-9198. On October 13th, a Korean pork donation ceremony took place at the Northern Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex. The donated pork will be delivered to families affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Present at the ceremony were Gyeonggi Province Vice Governor Lee yong chal Korea Pork Producers Association Gyeonggi Branch Director Che Young-gil, and Gyeonggi Council on Social Welfare Director Gang gi tae Gyeonggi Province selected three apartment complexes in the cities of Suwon, Sungnam, and Buchan as this year's exemplary coexistence apartments and presented them with Governor of Gyeonggi Province certification plaques and award certificates. The selections were based on evaluations in four categories general management, facility safety and maintenance, community activity promotion, and resource recycling and energy saving. These apartment complexes will be recommended by the province for similar national awards. Gyeonggi Province recently selected the Gwangnung Forest UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in Pochon City for its firefly reintroduction project and released 12,000 mollusks, including snails, as a food source before releasing 2,200 fireflies. These fireflies will grow into bioluminescent adults by June next year. The province also plans to reintroduce other species that are ecologically suitable for Gwangneung Forest. Gyeonggi Province has invited suggestions on the relocation of provincial organizations as part of its efforts to promote balanced regional development. The province has selected five finalist organizations that will be relocated or established in northeastern provincial regions. The Market Commerce Promotion Institute and the Gyeonggi Transport Corporation will move to Yangju City, and the Gyeonggi Province Employment Foundation will move to Dongducheon City, while the Gyeonggi Environment and Energy Institute and the Gyeonggi Province Social Service Institute will be established in the cities of Gimpo and Yeoju, respectively. With the hosting localities welcoming the new arrivals, the province plans to expedite the relocation and establishment processes in cooperation with related local governments. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.